some people get sleep paralysis, I, I'm one of them. If you're having a nightmare, your body just paralyzes. You could see, you could breathe. You're cognizant a little bit, but you're also half asleep. And you can't move. And you could breathe, but like it feels like you're suffocating slowly. And it feels like someone's pushing you down into your bed. <laughs> yeah, and right when you think you're about to die is when I wake up. It's, it's, like, it's like, yeah, it's not fun. A character in my work is the, the dark figure that everyone sees when they have sleep paralysis. So sometimes I'll put him in my, in my drawings. Back in the day, he would come to check on my meter and it would just be this dark figure in the window and I would always let him in to check my meter. <laughs> he was never uh, in, like imposing or menacing. He would just be this dark figure that was in my dream and watch me go to sleep sometimes. I've come to know him as a, almost a friend. It's not, uh, I don't, I'm not scared of him. But the, the paralysis itself is terrifying. But like the dark figure, I'm just like, oh, this is a familiar guy that I've been seeing in my dreams for years, so. I got into drawing when I was at a young age. Uh, my neighbor, Frankie, I'll never forget, he introduced me to comic books. Batman was my thing. Like back in the day in the 90s when there was a comic boom, I would copy a lot of uh, Jim Lee or Tom McFarlane or Rob Liefeld even. I would just copy them, just draw everything on everything on my notebooks and all that stuff. And it was really fun, obviously, but I always had people telling me, this is a good hobby, have fun with it, but you'll never make it into a career. I took architecture for three years in Red River College. Worked really hard, um, surprised myself with how good I did in, academically because I was really a bad student in high school. Once I started working, just that discovery of, I don't want to do this, it was, it was pretty heartbreaking and um, just kind of lost and, uh, and still have that noise in my head saying, well, this is your job, you have to do it because that art thing is not a real job. And eventually I just, I just had to draw. So my career basically started doing gallery stuff. Back in the day, it was really easy to just do gallery shows, usually group shows. Due to Instagram, like it's a lot easier to just be your own gallery. As soon as I put a new piece up, I usually get a message or an email saying, is this for sale? It makes me feel great to have people who will give me the hard earned cash to put my depressing art on their walls. <laughs> it's like, wow, you really like this. That's insane. I'll never take that for granted. It always blows my mind when people buy my work. So I'm very grateful for that.